Hey everyone, Robocop1790 here. We just wrapped up our interview with your narrator of The Boys on YouTube, and here are the highlights. Anyone and everyone who has a story to inspire others and mm. bring laughter to their faces. So thank you for being here, narrator. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I, I still, uh, uh, ever since ever since we had our uh, our breakfast at Eggs Benedict, <laughs> it, was, it was a good <laughs> Where did the name Your Narrator originate? When I was growing up on the farm, I didn't, none of my friends were around me, but, you know, ADHD filled me uh, with lots of land and no, you know, parental supervision. I was like, well, if my friends aren't here, I'll make my own. So when I watched a show like Avatar, it was teaching, there was like a whole bunch of hidden lessons in that show. Uh, treat others the way you want to be treated. Uh, doesn't matter where they're from in the world, it, it's, it's nice that you... Um, that everyone can come together. And then Uncle Iroh was, my, of course, my favorite character um, because he had a lot of wisdom. So you're telling me you learned valuable life lessons while watching cartoons? It's crazy, isn't it? I know, times have changed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the only thing I kept from my time in the army was, like, the patches, of course, um, and, then, uh, and then I kept the whoopee, the whoopee blanket. That was like the softest, warmest blanket. And I love cherry blossoms, as evident on my arm. But, but. Good, to, good to know, folks. Everyone knows that now. Everyone sends me <laughs> cherry blossoms. Oh my God, send him cherry blossoms. <laughs> 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 That's why I enjoy doing these interviews, because there's people who actually are humble and caring. Look at this man. Look at this man. You humans. Love him. No, don't throw <laughs> I say that and a bunch of roses get thrown in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and But then as I was going to it, that's when YouTube started. And I was just playing VR chat one day, practicing voices. Molly and Josh showed up and they put me in a video. I said, thanks. This was the narrator guy. And they were like, you, come here. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Scott, yeah, me and Scotty. Have Hi, Scotty. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Um... <laughs> Even then, we, we hardly cook, but uh, this is a perfect time to let everyone know that this interview is brought to you by HelloFresh. <laughs> is it really? No. <laughs> oh, dude. That would have been the perfect segue, though. Uh, Eddie's, of course, was, you know, had a sombrero and a poncho. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have abs, too, but they're hiding under a thick layer. <laughs> Listen, no. I, I get the appeal of abs. I want abs too. I, if you're going to a party and at that party you show up, are people more excited that you bring a six pack or a cake? Not for me, for the ladies in the chat. Do you have cake? I have cake. I Whenever I see my success, I'm like, that's awesome. But then I also see their success and their success inspires me to do better. Are you a furry? Speaking for a friend. <laughs> Holy I know shit. exactly. I don't care. L listen, I don't care who you are. Lola Bunny was hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Te according to the internet, technically. What is your favorite VR game? Mm -hmm. So the forest was really good in VR. It was. It was really cool. And I have one one person who literally, without their help. For just a brief moment, I definitely want them to jump on in. Hello there. It's me, the furry narrator. How you doing, big guy? <laughs> oh my god. Brother, what's happening? There's another one of me. Thank you so much, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to the video. Hit that like button and comment what your favorite part of the video was. Thank you, honey bunches, and have a wonderful day. You put a smile on everyone's face. Thanks, so on man. behalf of my community... And a bunch of other communities that may or may not know who I am. Again, a massive thank you, my dude. <laughs> thank you, man. Uh, thanks for having me on, man. This is awesome. If you would recommend someone who's kind-hearted laughter, brings joy and chaos and overall good vibes to the community, who would you personally recommend for the next interview like this? Of Daddy and Double Tap, uh, Eli. And the artist Dev Shogun created this amazing art piece of your narrator and myself, TikTok Diablo, to capture this momentous occasion. Thank you, Dev Shogun. Once again, thank you to your narrator. He nominated Eli Double Tap or Baddie Streams for the next Misfits of TikTok interview. I'd love to have him on here, so we'll see you guys for the next one.
Have a good one.